size would be about 144 because you know some you can't write on the back and some you can some are little tiny pages that they counted and some are big okay here's a, um, a vintage ribbon on the spine and I allowed this part to show I backed it on a business um, envelope and it had writing on it but I think it's cute because I think it's um, nice to see what kind of um, different things about junk journals seeing the pieces and uh, other things where they came from and what they are and I did some sewing on the edges and I took some um, seam binder ribbon and um, I coffee dyed it and it came out with a beautiful pattern on it let me show you what she looks like inside And um, here she is, really cute, I think. And here's a book marker I made from a book. It's really cute of an owl. Let me get that back in there. Okay. And this is some um, vintage lace, and so is this little eyelet trim. And um, here's a pocket, and I have a card that's uh, printed from an old recipe. It's an applesauce cake. Here's a belly band with a little um, piece of paper envelope type thing that you can write on. And I made this. Uh, quite a while ago and did some little beads on it and some vintage buttons and this is a vintage flower and vintage lace and whatever and I first time I really used a big piece like this in a book and I I think it looks really quite nice some paper ruffles from a wallpaper wallpaper and um there's some um, sewing I did from the sewing machine of flowers there. Index cards of, you know, different colors there. And um, all kinds of various papers, coffee dyed papers, magazine papers, um, book pages. A little stamp, ink stamping there and silver. Some, some of these pages are very old. This, um, I got this from a crafter on, tel on um, YouTube, and she was, I think her name's Desiree, and she does live um, shows, and I don't remember her full name right now, but she was giving um, her printable free that you could pick one out that you wanted just to show her appreciation which was so sweet for watching her and buying her journals and things and um i printed it on old vellum paper and it's really really pretty and um this page here is very fragile and old so you have to be careful with it i don't mind using them i think they're fun to be in a junk journal um, if it does tear or anything, I wouldn't worry about it. I would just put some washi tape, some plain tape, anything like that would be fun. Or leave it as it is. It, you know, it's a giant journal, so it's fun. It's meant to look old, and it's just fun to use that way. Fun to use old papers that way. This came from... Uh, a package my son had ordered and um, it had never been opened and it had been wrapped up in the from the 1960s and so this was in there and it's pretty so I stuck it in here and just all kinds of places to write and and I have um, reinforced some of the pages this one here is with paper but some have been done with washi tape I believe And um, there's a picture of a cute little girl there, and here's an envelope, and um, this is some old ledger paper, some wax paper for um, 
um, let's see, copying something, I suppose it was, and um, I like the feel of it, so I stuck it in there, and I find it interesting, all these different pages. There's some more of that pretty trim. And I put all these um, papers, scrap papers, um, I glued these together. Sometimes I sew them, but this time I glued them, and I think it came out really nice. And I really like adding that into my book. I think they're fun. It's a good way of using those long pieces when you're cutting off to make them fit into a journal to the size you're wanting. Now these two pages here are very, very fragile. They, it's from an old, very old cookbook. And so a good thing if you want to do this is to put a tab on it, glue a little tab on it so that it will, you can grab that instead of turning the page so it won't tear. And this too came from that, that old, um, package that my son had bought and um, so it's fun to use. And here is a little heart and you stick something in it if you want and it opens here on the side and you can write in there like that. And I am sorry but my phone's wanting to cut out again so I'm trying to do a fast quick one and um, I thought I had it fixed, but I guess I don't, because <laughs> this is my second time I've been trying to film, and then here's a little, and it hasn't, uh, it clicked off, so I had to redo this, so hopefully I'll get through this, and this is just a little place that you can write, with some material on it, and then a tag, and a um, little kitty collage there. And this will be on my Etsy shop and I hope you'll take a look. And um, I have quite a few books and journals on my Etsy shop and um, so take, come on over and look at them and maybe you would like to buy one. And um, just which would be nice for me <laughs> and hopefully very nice for you too. But okay, let's see. And then this is a card and this is um, not a real one. My daughter ordered some and she um, gave it to me for Christmas, which was really nice. And I, I um, inked it and I added some very vintage little um, handkerchief on there and then there's a tag and then here's a corner pocket and with some papers there and this flips open like this and I learned this from Wendy's Adventure and then here's a tag for um goes into this pocket up here and then here's a pocket there with a tag and a little boy that I made well, it's from Tim Holtz. I cut it out and made it on here. A little tiny pocket there that I peek out. And then pocket up here. And um, pocket there too. And so there, there she is. And you guys have a wonderful day. And um, be safe. Bye now.